Okay, so that was uh, okay. Emmanuel Abadiri, I feel we just came your way with some business. But just before George comes in, let me try and sneak this story in. I'm sure you all do know Hassan Ayaga. I mean, the old famous Hassan Ayaga. And uh, let me bring a story about him. Now, the All People's Congress, APC, is refusing allegations from some sections that it is being sponsored by the ruling National Democratic Congress, the NDC. Now, during its provisional certificate at a news conference on Tuesday, founder of the APC, Hassan Ayaga, says he's ready to save the ordinary Ghanaian from what he calls the intense hardship in the country. Now, he's also calling on the Electoral Commission to fast track the process of providing the APC with their final certificate. Addressing the media in Accra, Hassan Ayariga expressed his desire to save Ghanaians from the unpredictable ways of other political parties in the country. He says his aim is to prove to Ghanaians that he can turn things around when he becomes president. If you look at the, the time period from now till elections, how can we mobilize people to win elections? I tell you, when change is coming, it does not matter with time. When people decide they want to change, even the D-Day of election, they will change. It has nothing to do with the period of campaigning. It has to do with your policies, the understanding of the people, what they think you can do, and that when it comes, change comes within a minute. Change has no duration. It does not matter if APC is given a final certificate a day before elections. If the people are rallying for APC, they will go for APC. Hassan Ayariga is, however, worried the Electoral Commission might delay in providing them with their final certificate as this year's general election draws closer. But a more concern to the APC leader is rumor making round that he's being sponsored by the ruling NDC. He assured that he has not discussed his party with any political party because his focus is to do all it takes to win in the upcoming election. The APC has committed men and women to handle the affairs of Ghana. If a party can be formed in less than one month and have all the necessary documentations and all the necessary structures, the APC has gone beyond the requirement of EC. I don't think there's any party today in Ghana that can boast of what our structures have. Not even the NDC and the MPP has 150 offices currently. So this is a big plus for the APC. So the APC stand on its own, irrespective of which political party is in power. And we are going to win power or share power. No more opposition. And the party, the party is not formed to be in opposition. No. So please, for God's sake, APC is not an opposition party. We have put in place the structures to be, to be given and granted the EC a, 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 a final certificate. Ask the other political parties whether they do have all these structures that we have within one month. We are not talking. We are working. And we are a very serious political party. And we are very serious. And this shows from our commitment and our level of understanding of the EC's uh, uh, requirement. So that already clarif clarifies how serious APC is. Mr. Ayariga defected and formed the APC after losing the PNC's flat bearership contest to Dr. Edward Mahama in claiming that the party had treated him unfairly. Well, the APC is indeed not an opposition party. And uh, all hail Hassan Ayariga. He's going to bring uh, a lot more relief to some many Ghanaians who seem to have some challenges. I'm really uh, waiting to uh, get the reaction of George Addo Jr. on this particular one. He joins us with sports right after these messages.